Welcome back. This is our third video about working with patterns in SOLIDWORKS 2015. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk in more detail about instances to count. First of all, let's begin by activating the Fill Pattern tool. I'm going to select this face first, and then I select the Feature to Pattern. The rest of the parameters I'll just leave at default. We've got 48 instances you can see here. Let's click on Validate Count. The count remains unchanged, still 48 instances. Now let's create what's called an overrun count. Let's make the margin minus 50 millimeters. Take a look at our count now, 107 instances. Let's click Validate Count. But now it shows 64 instances. So why is that? Well, the reason for this is because only 64 instances interact with our plane. Let's click OK at this point to accept our fill pattern. Now we're going to see how to use this value in design tables and equations. Let's go to Insert on the main menu strip, scroll down to Tables, and select Design Table. The Auto Create option is selected. Let's just click OK. Here is our value, D9 at Fill Pattern 1. Let's click OK. And you see our value at 64. Now you probably remember how to find this value from our previous video, and if not, I will repeat that. Make sure Instant 3D is turned off. Now double click on Fill Pattern 1. And here is our value, it shows 64 instances. Let's double click again, and then just click OK. Here's our equation. Let's right click and select Copy. Let's go to Tools, scroll down to Equations, and I'm going to create a custom variable. I'll give it a name first. I'm going to call it my var. Let's get over to the value cell. I'll enter equal sign. Let's enter a pair of double quotation marks. Now right in the middle, let's paste with a control V our value. It evaluates to 64 as you see when we tab over to the next cell. Let's click OK at this point. Now I'm going to create a sketch. I'll just drop in a line. Smart dimension it. Place the dimension right here. Let's expand the design tree. Let's select Fill Pattern 1. Type in an equal sign. Now the length of my line is equal to 64 millimeters. And that's because we're working in millimeters, grams, and seconds. To be more precise, the horizontal length of my line is 64 millimeters. If you'd like to learn more about working with equations, design tables, and custom variables, please check out my advanced course on assembly and part modeling. This concludes my third video about working with patterns. In my next video, we'll talk about variable patterns. We'll see you back in a minute.